Yeah. This one goes out to all my wizards. Straight West Coast in house. Uh. I used to hang at the cool kids' table, now I skip my lunch. You can find me fighting bears with a savage punch. Drafting rares with some squares, and I have a hunch. I'ma slap your elder dragon in a camel clutch. Cast a bunch of counter spells, I'm going kamikaze. Jump off Urza's tower, elbow dropping in Eldrazi. You playing proxy? That's cute, I'm pimping power. I'm a warrior. Ain't phased by your freaking cowards. I'm spending hours locked up in a comic shop. It's Friday night, I'm trying to fight. Your angel gets atomic drop. Come off the top, mass destruction, wrath of God. Void with a word, you can't even. Got you acting odd. Attack the squad, you passed the turn with untapped islands. Got blue men and teardrops running down my eyelids. I came for violence, not permission for a will. If I catch you slipping, I'll be splinter twinning for the kill. Tap, tap, tap to attack. I'm addicted to that cardboard crack. Crack, 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 crack another pack. I'm addicted to that cardboard crack. I'm running out of cash. I'ma have to charge, spend my red money on some magic cards I'm running out of cash, but I'm living large Spend my food money on some magic cards Flew out to Vegas, threw out my entire plan Play so much burn, they had to call the fireman Try your hand, I eat your charma boy with hot sauce Catch me tapping these happy trees, Bob Ross Cranko mob boss swarming in a horde of tokens Goblin storm, need I warn you, it's sorta of broken The cork is open, champagne pouring victory Plus I cracked an expedition, get to sleep Tap, tap, concede, tell me how does losing taste A little salty, sorry about your stupid chase I'm using haste, stay sharper than a thumbtack Can tell Reddit posted pictures posing by my bum track I don't want that Come on, you lack focus. You're a squire, I'm a fire, I'm a black lotus. Last notice, if I lose, this isn't safe. I'm mana screwed, and you're rude, dude, I'm flipping tape. Tap, tap, tap to attack. I'm addicted to that cardboard crack. Crack, 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 crack another pack. I'm addicted to that cardboard crack. I'm running out of cash, I'ma have to charge. Spend my red money on some magic cards I'm running out of cash, but I'm living large Spend my food money on some magic cards This ain't a game, actually it is I ain't playing, well, no you are And it's a winning man, that's what I'm saying Ah, uh, okay, yeah This ain't a game No, no, it actually is a game I ain't playing You, you are playing, that's, that's the point of the game is you Shuffle the cards, you, you deal the, you play the lands, you, you play the game, you're playing a game Ah, whatever. I'm just a bill. Yes, I own.
I started this channel back in 2006, vlogging and rambling and bit after bit. The viewer showed up, the viewer subscribed. It's because of me that this channel's alive. Sure you joined the game, but you joined it too late. You're screaming and crying, dude, you're irate. If I were you, I'd be better off dead. Good thing you're a figment that lives in my head. Your sister hates you and she's all that you've got, but she's played by my wife, so at least she's hot. Everything that happens in your life, you see, happens because I want it to. You're written by me. I can make you angry. I can make you sad. If you don't behave, I'll take all you have. I'll take away your games. I'll write your defeat. I can even put your ass out on the fucking streets. Each subscriber you have, the first thing that they see, all your viral vids, sorry little old me. Your bullshit doesn't bring them out to our page, so shut your bitches are here to see me rage. It's the bitch that I'm in that get on TV, I'm the reason Ray featured us on the equal tree. The videos you post are a terrible bore, I'm the one who unboxed that PlayStation 4. My rage videos are why people care, without those videos no one would be aware. That you even exist, that you even got a life, you owe me it all, including your hot wife. I bring in the view. So I bring in the bucks You bring all the tears with your sad bad luck I'm running this channel If you ever have a doubt Boot up your vlogs and check the view Cow, cow, cow The things that you said, I guess they are true I wouldn't have the views if it wasn't for you Good thing I decided to dream you up I just wish I hadn't dreamt you so fucking dumb Sure, Francis, you're the man of the hour But I'm your god, I have all the power If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be around So get back in my head and set the fuck down Wish that imagination could make you less broke Your terrible childhood is my favorite joke I'm tired of this rock and I'm tired of your shit Let's see what happens when I fucking quit no, seriously, I'm out of here. Seriously, I don't want to do it. I'm not doing this anymore. I know I was winning. I don't care. I don't care that I was winning. I'm just fucking done. I'm just going to say it's fat ass rage. Let's see him get pissed off for a change. Seriously, I'm fucking out of here. I'm fucking done. Fuck that guy. Hey, wait a minute. Where's, where's my part of this? Yeah, Boogie called me. He said, Jesse, come on up from Texarkana. We'll put you in the rap battle. He said he wrote me a part and everything. No, seriously. Seriously, where? How can we be done? How can we be done? I ain't done nothing yet. Ah, oh, god damn it. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. I got a lot of stuff I want to talk to you about today. Yes, I do. You say that I'm fat, I know that I'm fat, but fat in America, that's where it's at. I got more food, more food than I can eat, I'll eat it while I arrive to this really sick beat. I live in the land of the free and the plenty, my brain is never full and my belly's never empty. Haters tell me to run and hide, but they're just mad because they're jelly inside. I'm rambling and joking and helping people out, inspiring and gaming, that's what I'm about. Because of YouTube, Google's got me paid, my videos just so good they even got me laid. Yes, they did. I play World of Warcraft 40 hours a week. My arena score is high, but it still hasn't peaked. On Xbox, I maxed out my gamer score. Bill Gates called me and said, don't play no more. I'm so damn good at Call of Duty. Even your fat mom gave me some booty. In Borderlands, I got every single gun. I even got Handsome Jack on the run. In Skyrim, I explored every single cave. I turned those dragons into my bitch slave. Even Mario's hardest game ain't a hassle. Princess Peach always hangs in my castle. Pac-Man eats everything he sees. The yellow son of a bitch learned it from me. When I play Halo Master Chief don't respawn. I don't need place to get zombies off my lawn. In GTA the cops don't give me stars. The hookers pay me for a ride in my car. I've owned every game since 1975. I was solving quests before you were alive. Do you think you're better than me? No one's better than me. Actually. Well, maybe one guy's better than me. Yeah, I think I am. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's Francis. That's <laughs> me. I like cake and cookies and fries and pies. And when I order my dinner, I actually super size. I really like food, and that's no lie. When I go to the face, yeah, the managers cry. I'm always on YouTube making videos for the haters, the lovers, and all of you hoes. They call me fat and dumber than hell, but I just on my stars at the local Taco Bell. And I keep coming back almost every Every day, sorry haters, but I won't go away. So take a moment to click and subscribe, and you 
can watch my videos till the day I die of a heart attack. That's right. You know it's coming. You just make me so damn mad with your hate-filled comments. And the video game industry is shit. Every game mentioned in this song is shit. Nobody can make a good game. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of playing shitty games. I'm, even this rap sucks. Everything sucks and I'm out of here. You sons of bitches. I'm, I'm just sick of this shit. I'm not going to do it. Today, I decree that the beat will go hard. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. MC Ferguson, proceed. I want to renovate my house, but I have to get to go now. Say what? I lived in a pretty decent house. Six years ago, I lived in a pretty decent house. Heard a knock on the door, and before I know, my colleagues let it go loose. I'm sold. Let it go loose. I'm go loose. Heard a knock on the door, and before I know, my colleagues let it go loose. I'm sold. Let it go loose. Damn go. I want to renovate my house, but I have to get the go now. Gotta get the go, get the go act. We must undo the Affordable Care Act. Wait a minute. Show this damn goat ain't real. How do you think that makes me feel? You got me so hyped to see a goat in real life. Gotta get the go, get the go act. Gotta get the go act, get the go act. Some metaphors are good, some are bad. But this might be the worst one we've ever had. Human activity is causing climate change. It seems an open question. It's not an open question. The evidence is overwhelming. You pretend that you know, but you don't know. We do know. You don't actually know. It's unknown. But we know. I'm open-minded. You are not. But we know. I love you as a person, but we know. Do you know whether Trump Tower was wiretapped? There are many ways you can surveil someone. You can surveil someone through their microwaves. Microwaves, she's saying our microwaves can look at us. Always told me to stay away from microwaves. Microwaves. I'm not an inspector gadget. I'm not in the job of having evidence. Microwaves. You have no evidence. Who said I don't have any evidence? Microwaves. You have no evidence. Who said I don't have any evidence? Hey, what up? I'm in the CIA and I put a microphone in your microwave. I'm listening close because I need to know if you had a hot pocket or a pizza roll. Your burrito steaming got me dreaming, scheming. How I'm gonna sneak in and eat them. So reptitious, so delicious. I'm eavesdropping while we eat. It's fitting that we gather here each year to celebrate St. Patrick. He was an immigrant, the symbol of immigrants. Deprived of liberty, opportunity, deprived of safety, food. He believed in the compassion of Americans. St. Patrick's patron of immigrants. Oh, that's what they call an Irish kiss. Historical facts, you'll have a cardiac. Oh. You think we should guarantee health care is uh, a Yeah. Every home wire, every tall monitor, every one. Every American, every American, coast to coast. Every, every, every American citizen should have my dreams. My dreams. Gotta, gotta get to go Hi, everybody. I'm very ill tonight. I don't feel very good. But tonight's a magic night, and I don't miss magic nights. I don't give a fuck. If I were on fire right now, I'd be opening magic cards for you guys. I don't give a shit. So we're going to open some of these here goddamn fucking cards. And then I'm going to go back to sleep. Hey, Watsy, dox me using this. Dox me. Look at this, Watsy, look at this. Dox me. Use that serial code to dox me. Fuckers. VR chat, nope, not tonight. Tonight is a magic night. Brand new magic set came out tonight. Oh, fuck me. I broke everything. Son of a bitch, I dropped it. New, brand new magic set. This is Rivals of Ixalan. Comedy night never again. Never again will we play comedy night. That game is a fucking travesty. Davala family, thanks for 13 months of support. Bippily Boob, thanks for five months of support. Flint, thanks for 20 bits. Uh, H M E R a Bash, Homer Bask, Hamer Bask, Hamer Bask. Welcome to the sub club. Peanut, welcome to the sub club. Durse, welcome to the sub club. Little Cody, welcome to the sub club. Maximus Twitch, by the way, thanks for the three bucks. 
Snow Beast. Welcome to the Sub Club. Welcome to the Sub Club. Monkey Bubble sinks for the 200 bits. We don't have a sponsor for... We don't have a sponsor for... We don't have a sponsor. We don't have a sponsor for... Welcome to the Sub Club. Magic the Gathering unboxings. But this is Rivals of Ixalan. Where is Sammy? He's asleep right here. Hi, buddy. Welcome to the Sub Club. Hi, buddy. He's worried about his daddy because daddy's been sleeping a lot. His daddy's fighting off an infection. (laughs) Ha ha! I got antibiotics today, though, so I'm going to be fine. So don't you worry about me. Don't you worry about me. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Don't you worry about me. Don't you worry about me. I'm going to be fine. The Real Pup Nasty, welcome to the sub club. Raver Wolf, thanks for two months of support. Pee Wee Suggs, thanks for 17 months of support. Yo, my wife just had a kidney transplant. Oh, what did they do with the old kidney? I'll eat it. Send that. Send me your old kidney. Send my. Send me your wife's old kidney to www. www. rivals of that. Dixclon. Welcome. To uh, I know it's a little bit focused, uh, out of focus over here, but that's way when it's fo- up here. You can see the art. You can see the cards. You can see the pretty stuff. It's out of focus over here, but it's in focus up here, so you can read the cards. Here we go. I don't know much about this set. I heard it's pretty good. I drafted. I played sealed. Here's a token card. It's a treasure token. You can put that in your butthole. There's a a land card. It is garbage. Human garbage. There's our first foil. Dark Inquiry. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Okay. Terrible. There's a rare Bishop of Binding. This is a four casting cost 1-1. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until Bishop of Binding leaves the battlefield. So he's a fragile O-ring for four mana. But when it attacks, target vampire gets plus X plus X to end a turn where X is the power of the exile card. So this has to attack, so it'll probably always give it to itself. Huh. I had that in my shield pool. I wasn't overly impressed. Here's our three uncommons. I don't think there's any uncommons worth anything in this set. Got to get paid to get laid, y'all. Here's a two cast. Hey, two, brother two. Buggy, can Here's you feel the magic in the air tonight? Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Oh, Lord. And there are no valuable comments. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, there's an emblem. Checklist card. Garbage. Here's our rare... This is Nazah, Nazahal, Primal Tide. Now, there's a cycle of Elder Dinosaurs. And this one's the Underwater. This is a Loch Ness Monster, basically. Seven mana for 7-7. Seven, seven. Can't be countered. You have no maximum hand size. When an opponent casts a non-creature spell, draw a card. Discard three cards. Exile this. Return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Huh. I mean, that does a lot. That does a lot. It doesn't do anything I want it to do. I don't know if I put that in my cube. There's Baffling In, Stormful Reckless Rager. Reckless Rage. Welcome to the Sub Club. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Mowersty, welcome to the Sub Club. Jesse Blaze, thanks for four months of support. Raspergo says, Boogie, can you feel the magic in the air tonight? You know I can. I can feel the illness. I can feel the illness killing my body. Blazing Hope. Exile target creature with power greater than or equal to your life total. What? What? Now, this was the opposite. If it said less than or equal to your life total, that'd be an amazing card. Welcome to the sub Now you're going to be low life. That is an interesting design, though. Jade Light Ranger. Hey, operator. Welcome to the sub club. Three cast costs 2 1. All right, that's promising. When this enters the battlefield, it explores, then it explores again. So it could be as much as a 4-3, or it could draw you two cards. Huh. Uh Uh-huh. That's interesting. And it's also a merfolk. That's that's useful. There's our uncommons. Enter the unknown is pretty okay. I don't think there's any valuable uncommons this time, so I don't even think we have to bother. J. 
Jade Light is a beast in the standard. Seems like it would be. Next rare, Warkite Marauder. So it's a two cast and costs two, one, and blue. That's good enough. Uh, it's a human pirate. When this attacks, target creature defending player controls loses all abilities and has base power and toughness 0-1 till end of turn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like this little dude. That's a pretty powerful creature. I like him. Okay. That's a blue card I like. Arterial Flow, Slippery Scoundrel. Thunderherd Migration. Boring. Yeah, I like that little blue guy. Like a hundred bucks, I wish. How much does a whole box of this cost? About a hundred bucks. If you buy them for a casing, it's cheap. It's like $89 a, a, a box. Here is Forest. Here is our rare. Silverclad Ferocidons. This is a giant dinosaur. Seven mana for an 8-5. It enrages. So whenever it takes damage, each opponent sacrifices a permanent. Wow. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's a little... It's, it's expensive. I don't know when you're ever going to play with that, but... Expel from Orzaka. Okar, Merfolk, Miss Miner. Right. Blah. Shitty on Gomez. On this set. Somebody says that's an EDH bomb. Hell yeah. Compl control that with Pyrohemia. Forest. Rare. Oh, no, there's a foil. Hardy Veteran. Two cast costs two, two. As long as it's your turn, it gets plus zero, plus two. Limited fodder. That's okay. Rare. Oh, I haven't seen this card. Arch of Orozga. Ascend. So, this is an interesting mechanic. Uh, if you have a card with Ascend in play, if you control ten or more permanents, you get Gotta the city's get paid blessing. to get laid, y'all. And the only thing that does is help... Hi, Bookie. I ascend. just started watching your videos about two months ago, and I love all of your videos. You have been a big inspiration for me to lose weight. I've lost 15 pounds so far. Good job, Keep our pretzel. Man, Keep up love. the good work, brother. Good job, our pretzel. Keep up the good work, brother. Thanks for the five bucks. Thanks for the love. Reaper Wolf says, as your bastard child, I feel you should know I had bronchitis and you need their love and attention as much as Sammy. Reaper Wolf, come over here and crawl into bed with me. We'll take care of each other. Um, so, yeah, if you have the city's blessing, you can spend five mana and draw a card, but only if you have the city's blessing. If this didn't give a shit about the city's blessing, I would still never use this card. Even if it was just five mana, draw a card. You have to tap six lands to draw a single card. No? The card is bad. The card is bad. Arterial Flow, Stone Quarry, Legion, Lieutenant. The card is bad. How many cards, is, how many packs has Buggy opened so far? About 12. Roughly. Here is our rare. Oh, no, there's another foil. A lot of foils out of this box. This is Legion Lieutenant. One black, one white for a 2-2 two, two, and other vampires you control get plus one, plus one. That's pretty cool. Our rare is uh, the Red Elder Dinosaur. I think this guy's pretty good, if I remember. Six casting costs, six, six legendary creature Elder Dinosaur. Uh, when this attacks, exile the top card of each player's library. You may cast any number of non-land cards exiled this way without paying their mana costs. So this guy seems pretty interesting. I mean, six mana, he's no fire titan for six mana. Um, but when he attacks, exile, I mean, in, in, in Elder Dragon, this is insane. In, in Commander, this is insane. Going to play a bunch of spells off the top of everybody's library? I mean, if you untap with this or you give it haste on the turn it comes into play, yeah, you're going nuts with that. So that guy seems cubable, I think. He seems cubable. There's our uncommons. I'm gonna play a whole mess of smells. Yeah, boy. Check me out. I'm playing a whole mess of spells. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's our first mythic. And all of the mythics in this set seem shitty to me, if I remember. This is a 6-8 casting cost 5-5. Five, five. But when it's dealt damage, you create a copy of it. So, I mean, this is just a Johnny combo card. You get it out with Pyrohemia or Pestilence or something. And you make a whole bunch of dinosaurs. And maybe you have Concordant Crossroads in place so they get haste. Meh. Too much mana to do that. But, Baffling in Dead Eye Brawler, Reckless Raptor. Blah, blah, blah. 
Do I just have one cube or I have multiple cubes? I have multiple cubes. And we have multiple cubes in our community. Here's our first flip card. Here we have Journey to Eternity. These are interesting. So it's an enchantment. This one enchants a creature you control. When an enchanted creature dies, return it to the battlefield under your control. Then return this to the battlefield transformed. And on the other side, it taps for one mana of any color of your uh, mana to your mana pool. And then for five mana, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So I, I think this is okay. Like, if your opponent's tapped out, you can throw this on a the guy. Then when the guy dies, you'll get the dude back, and then you'll get this land. I feel like the value's there. I'll probably test this. I'll probably test that. I'll probably test that. We'll see. Uh, the card where takes damage summons a copy of its grand patron from Arstone. Yep. Yep. Except more broken by a lot. Because, you know, the damage doesn't stick around. Kumuna's Awakening. Four mana, a sin. So, City's Blessing. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card. If you have the City's Blessing, on, instead, only you draw a card. So, if this had been two mana, I'd be cool with that. Four mana is a bit much. So, I don't know. Two mana, everybody's drawing a card. That's cool. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Four mana. It's you said price. you used to be socially isolated and a crummy person. What made you change? Practice. Practice. Um, just years and years of practice. All right, here's one of the... I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit. Blood Sun. There's a red and two. This card's interesting. When Blood Sun enters the battlefield, draw a card. All lands lose all abilities except mana abilities. So, this won't affect Tron in, in Modern. Um, and it doesn't affect a lot in Standard. Uh, it does affect all these new flip lands, which is probably what it's designed to do. But it will screw over fetch lands. Um, and come into play uh, abilities, I guess. No, yeah. At least you draw a card off of it. It's no Blood Moon. But it's okay. But it's okay. But, uh, so, when I was a kid, I used to be pretty edgy. Even right up until I was about 30, I was pretty edgy. Uh, and kind of a crummy person. But I realized something. The people that were around me were also pretty crummy. And I wanted to be around a better grade of people. I wanted to be around people that made me happy, not sad. Um, and I realized uh, by talking to a therapist that if you want to be around nice people, you got to be a nice person. If you're a crummy person, you're going to be treated crummy. You know, you got to be generous. You got to be kind. You got to be loving. You got to be caring. You got to. You know, if you're a narcissist, you're only going to attract other narcissists. If you're a, uh, if you're a rude person, you're only going to attract other rude people. You know, if you're rude to other people in public, it seems like everybody's rude to you. You're the kind of person that screams at another person, yells at another person, raises your voice at somebody in the fucking service industry. Who does that? Who fucking does that, right? You know, if you pick on people on the internet, you're just going to find yourself more miserable than you were the day before. But it turns out when you treat other people nice... You attract nice people. And uh, so I started doing that, trying to be a nicer person to attract nicer people. And it worked. Sphinx's Decree, two mana sorcery. Each opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell during that player's next turn. Each opponent can't cast instant or sorcery spells during the next turn. This allowed you to draw a card. It would be as good as Orem's Chant. But no, that's pretty bad. Bad version of good cards, I guess. That's what the new, That's what the new design is. New design, bad versions of good cards. Here's a Minecraft. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Here's a Pricky Minecraft. Thanks for advertising. opening magic packs, and I love when oh, you act you, normal and show your personality instead of just acting crazy on Steam. I also love you when you play games. Well, when I act crazy on stream, that's kind of who I am as well. I'm just sick right now, so this is me being all sad and sick. I'm all sad and sick right now. A fucking Minecraft advertisement on my fucking magic card. Seriously? Thank you for that garbage. Here is our planes. Here is a rare Tomb Robber. This guy is... I don't know what to think about this guy. So three mana for a 1-1 one, one is terrible. But it does have Menace. It is a pirate. You can discard a card and this explores. Now, here's the thing. If you draw a land off of that, then you get to spin another and explore again. If you draw a non-land, you can discard it and put a counter on it or put it back on top of your library and it gets bigger. 
But I, I, he's a madness enabler, but there's no madness in this set. So why does this guy exist? I don't know. I had him in limited, and he was terrible in limited. I even had an enchantment to put on him, I think, if I remember. Equipment. I think it was equipment. Uh, the pirate store, the sword. Not a good card. Not a good card. Sorry. Here's our rare. It is, in fact, a mythic. This mythic's actually pretty good. Kumana, Tyrant of Orza Orozka. Three mana for a 2-4. Tap another untapped merfolk you control. This can't be blocked this turn, so that's okay. Tap three untapped merfolk you control to draw a card. So if you get into a stalemate situation in standard, which will happen. I mean, nobody blocks in standard anymore, but it might happen. Uh, you can draw a card. And tap five untapped merfolk you control to put a plus one, plus one counter on each merfolk. So if you have this guy and four other merfolk, at the end of the turn, you can tap everything, untap and swing in with everything bigger. It's, it's, a, it's a decent, I mean, he's pretty decent. You know, I, I figure, I don't, think he, I don't think he's worth splashing for in modern. Um, because there's much better lords, but. Here we go. Rare. Seafloor Oracle. Four casting cost two, three. No! What is this, Homelands? Whenever a merfolk you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. No! Bad. Welcome to the sub club. Bad, Wizards of the Coast. Fix your shit. No! That's a bad card. Disin Dinistriniad, Dinistriniad, welcome to the sub club. Glad to have you. No, Wizards of the Coast, print better cards. It's a bad card. There's so many better ways. There's so many better ways to draw more cards. So many better ways. For those of you wondering about the city's Gotta blessing, get paid here to it get is. laid, y'all. It does nothing. Ducky, I can't tell you Literally how many times I've thought of you during my weight loss journey. Oh, good 150 job. 150 pounds lost. And I would love to talk with you if interested. Sorry about donating to get this message to oh. you. Hey, Shooms, thanks for the 10 bucks, man. I, right now is not a good time to try to, for me to talk to anybody because uh, I'm just sick as a dog. Uh, but, man, congratulations on the weight loss. Keep the weight off. That's the hard part now. Um, and good luck, my friend. Holy moly. Thanks for the 10 bucks. I'm down 140 myself. There's the Paladin of Atonement. Two cast that cost 1-1 one, one Vampire Knight. At the beginning of each upkeep, if you lost life last turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on this. Whenever this dies, you gain life equals to his toughness. This is an exact duplicate from a card in in um, Eternal. <laughs> it's called the Soul Keeper or something like that. Yep, yeah, this is straight up stolen from Eternal. I know, I see you motherfuckers stealing cards from other card games. Yeah, one card from fucking... Hearthstone in this set. You got another card from... I see what you're doing, Wizard of the Coast. You cheating bastards. There is... What? Jesus Christ. Okay. 12 casting costs 12, 12. However, it costs X less, where X is the total power of creatures you control. And it's a 12, 12 trample. Gotta get paid so to get laid, y'all. So you have 10 power worth of dudes. Just bought two boxes of rivals. You can play Probably for open them tomorrow. Is there any card that you have your eye on, Boogie? I don't know the set this will, Maximus Twitch. I don't know. I don't know the set that well. I just need one copy of everything, pretty much. So that guy's interesting. That guy's interesting. Uh, I'm curious to see. I'm sure there's a value. I don't know if there's any valuable mythics at all, but. Daddy, how do you buy code cards in Pokemon TCG Online? Reaper Wolf, what you gotta do is you gotta buy the physical cards, and you'll get these codes. You'll get these code cards out of the physical packs and you redeem them online. So you get the physical cards or, and here's a secret, a lot of people sell these code cards by themselves. And that way, if you only want to play digital, you can just buy the code cards for like under a dollar a pop. So that's a good way to do it. But they, they, uh, they will award you by buying the physical cards in real life by giving you the digital cards. The same thing. There's an island. There is... All right, here is the Black Elder Dro Dinosaur. Six casting costs, six, six. Death Touch. Why? Why does a six, six have Death Touch? Okay, flavor reasons. Spin one black and reveal this from your hand. Put a prey counter on target creature. Activate this only during your turn. So you can't do this on your opponent's turn, only during your turn. But... When this enters the battlefield, destroy each creature your opponent controls with a prey counter on it. 
So they get a one turn, one turn warning that he's coming, but you're like, all right, at the end of my turn, uh, that guy, that guy, that guy, they're going to die when this guy comes to the play. Good luck. And then they, they do their turn and they swing in with them and to their left, you kill them. He's pretty interesting. I will play with that card. I will test that card to see if he's worth holding on to. You can do it for multiple turns too. Yeah, you sure can. But I wouldn't want to give him that kind of warning. I, I, I don't even like giving him the one turn warning. All right, here's another flip card. Path of Metal. So legendary enchantment. When this enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each creature that doesn't have first strike, double strike, vigilance, or haste. So it wants you to build a deck full of creatures that first strike, double strike, vigilance, and haste. Whenever you attack with at least two creatures that have those abilities, transform this. On the back side, you can tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. You can spend a red and one to deal two damage to each opponent. Or you can spend a white and two. Choose a creature at random that attacked this turn. Destroy that creature. So he can defensively destroy your opponent's shit. You can tap to deal... I mean, you know, I don't know. Doesn't seem worth the, the hoops there for that one for me, but... Doesn't seem like that one's good enough. Push enough. Jon Snow, thanks for the 250 bits. Murloc is... Merfolk is magic's Murloc, exactly. No shit. Of course, Murloc didn't exist back when Magic was first getting printed. Here is another mythic, the Immortal Sun. Oh, look at me, I'm a sun. Six mana. Players can't activate Planeswalker's loyalty abilities. At the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card. Spells you cast cost one less to cast. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whoa. I literally don't know what's going on. Hopefully, this is a tip for Boogie. Oh, Dennis Sterniad. Dennis Sterniad, thank you for the 5,000 bits. That's 50 bucks. I'll use that to buy more magic cards. I'll have more magic cards to eat. I'll have more magic cards to eat. Oh, boy, more magic cards to eat. Ha, 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 ha. How much does a box of this pack cost? If you get a good deal from your local gaming store, as cheap as $89 a box. Eighty-nine dollars a box. Retails for one forty. Here's a rare release to the wind. Uh, instant speed exile target non-land permanent for as long as that card remains exiled. Its owners may cast it without paying its mana. Cost. Welcome to the sub club. This, guy, this card is pretty interesting. So instead of putting it back in your opponent's hand, you exile it, which is weird. Um, and so there's cards that affect exile that won't affect your opponent's hand. Uh, but then they can play it without paying its mana cost. So you can also use it on your own shit to protect your shit. You could use it as a as a tempo thing to like blink a guy for a turn, but you can also use it to exile your own dude and save him and then play him again on your turn. Save your planeswalker. It's weird. It's really weird. It's what a weird card, man. What a little weirdo. <laughs> what a little weirdo. What a little weirdo. All right, here is Crafty Cut First. Two, four casting costs two, two. Well, it better fucking be awesome then. Flash. When this enters the battlefield, each token that would be created under an opponent's control this turn is created under your control instead. What? And not counter, but token? Ugh. I'm sure this has a purpose, but I don't think it has a purpose in the current standard. All right, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make nine tokens. No, they're mine. Well, you know. I mean, okay. You might be able to combine it with that card that taps to give an opponent a token or something. I don't know. I don't know. Here's a rare. Oh, mythic. Okay, this guy's pretty good. Azor the Lawbringer. Two colors. Two white. Two blue for a six-six. So six cast goes six six legendary creature sphinx. But this guy's insane. Flying. When he enters the battlefield, each opponent can't cast instant or sorcery spells during that player's next turn. So that means on your turn, you can't kill this guy with a sorcery. You got an instant, you can do it on my turn, that's fine, but if you don't, you're fucked. Then whenever this attacks, you may pay blue, blue, white, and X, which is Sphinx's revelation cost. If you do, you gain X life and draw X cards. When this attacks, you may cast Sphinx's Revelations for free. That's fucking insane. 
That's completely batshit insane. Hey James, thanks for spamming them bits, baby. I'm gonna use those bits to buy crack. I'm gonna use those bits to buy crack so I can get skinny. Daddy wants to get skinny from crack. Yeah, that card is weird, man. That card is insane. Here's our next rare. Oh, there's a foil. Stampeding Horn Crest, not a good card. Here's a rare. Captain's Hook, three mana. So this is just a bad gra this is a bad grafted thingy, but three mana, equip a one. Equip creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has menace as a pirate in addition to its other creature types. Whenever this becomes unattached from a permanent, destroy that permanent. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, I would also settle for a peg leg here. But, okay, whatever. It's not even that good. Because I would just, you know, for plus two, plus zero, I'd rather have... I mean, Menace is useful, but... Menace is useful there, but... Here we go. Induced Amnesia. Three mana and shaman. When this enters the battlefield, target player exiles all cards from his or her hand face down, then draws that many cards. Okay. When this is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, return the exile to their owner's hand. Okay. So you can draw... Exile your hand, draw X cards, and then sacrifice this somehow, or bounce this somehow, and then get all your cards back. Doubling the size of your hand. Then you play it again, and get more cards. Okay, whatever. Seems a little. Seems like it wants you to do too much. Seems like too much work. But James, this is, this is, this is, thanks again for the bits, my friend. Appreciate you. A rare Protean Raider. This guy seems okay. Three mana, two two raid. If you attacked with a creature this turn, you may have this enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. So it's a three cast across clone. That's sometimes just a two two, but. You can also shapeshift into anything else as long as you attack this turn. So they got a big guy, you attack an it, you upgrade into the big guy. I don't know. I mean, as far as clones go, he's not great, but he's interesting. Gives, gives somebody a reason to draft blue-red. You know. Is blue wizard's favorite color? Yes. By a lot. And black is their least favorite color. Let's look at this shitty thing. Mastermind's Acquisition. Uh, acquisition. Four mana sorcery. Choose one. Search your library for a card. Put it in your hand and shuffle your library. So, Demonic Tutor-ish. Choose a card you... A Diabolic Tutor. Choose a creature you own from outside the game and put it in your hand. So, go get a creature off your sideboard or... Eh. Not good. Tutor off the sideboard, I guess. It's a wish. It's technically a wish. Weird card. Oh shit, I put the commons in the wrong hole. Guys, I put the commons in the wrong hole. <laughs> it's not the first time I put it in the wrong hole before. I put it in the wrong hole before. Here we go. Rare. Dire Fleet Daredevil. Two Casagos, two one, so that's okay. First strike. All right. When this enters the battlefield, exile target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard. You may cast that card this turn, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast that spell. If that card would be put into a graveyard this turn, exile instead. So. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Shake them jiggly bits. Turn. Oh, I'm shaking my jiggly bits for you. I'm shaking my jiggly bits. Look at my jiggly, shaking my jiggly bits for you. Shaking my jiggly bits, shaking my jiggly bits, shaking my jiggly bits for you. Shaking my jiggly bits, yes I am. Gotta shake those jiggly bits for you. Here is Profane Procession. One white, one black, one. Five mana, exile target creature. Then there are three or more exile cards exiled by this. Transform it. The backside of that is one mana of any color. And for four mana, put a creature card exiled with this permanent onto the battlefield under your control. This is so many hoops to jump through. But, I mean, five mana exile a thing is pretty interesting. Five mana exile a thing. You can exile your opponent's things. So, I don't know. I don't know how to evaluate that card just yet. I don't know how to evaluate those things just yet. Thanks for the 569, by the way. Is it just me or is everything in the set hella not good? Yeah. That's magic these days. They they really tone down the power level. I don't know why. 
There is Hadana's Climb, green, blue, and one. At the beginning of each combat on your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. And if that creature has three or more counters on it, transform this. Tap to add one mana of any color, three mana. Target creature you control gains flying and gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is its power. Eh. 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 You know. Eh. Here we go. There is a three casting cost five five dinosaur. You have my attention. He has a send, so if you control ten or more permanents, you get the city's blessing. You may play an additional land on each of your turns, and he can't attack or block unless he has a city's blessing. So, basically, he's a three casting cost enchantment kind of that counts as a creature, just can't attack or block until you hit ten permanents. But you can play an additional land each turn, so you're gonna hit ten permanents pretty quick. So you got a way to draw cards for playing lands or something like that. I don't know. Interesting. I guess there's also ways to... Well, never mind. This isn't Hearthstone, so there's no ways to silence it. But there's ways to silence it. That would be pretty cool. I forget. This is the wrong card game for that. We don't have silence yet. Say hi, please. Hi, please. City's Blessing. There is our rare Paladin of Atonement. Two casting cost, 1-1. One, one. Uh, we've seen this guy already, so I'll skip him. For those of you who haven't seen him, Sorry. Uh, somebody in chat asks, why would Wizards of the Coast make purposely bad cards? Um, so they have this theory. And it is a bad, bad theory. It's a stupidly bad theory. Okay? But their theory is, if we reduce the power level of standard, so that all of the cards you need for standard are very inexpensive then standard becomes cheaper to, to buy into and more people can buy into the game for less price. That's their theory. If the cards are overprinted and underpowered, then people can buy the cards for way cheaper to put together a standard deck and they can play standard for cheaper. And that's the plan. Now that doesn't work because... The cards that still get played in standard are just as rare as they've always been. So, they're still worth $10, 15 $20. The, the handful of cards that get played in standard are still worth a lot. So, it's pretty stupid design, if you ask me. But, this is Tillalana Lee's Summoner. Two cast costs one, one human shaman with a send. Whenever this attacks, you may pay red and X. If you do, create X11 one, one, elemental creature tokens that are tapped and attacking. At the beginning of your next end step, X all those tokens until you have the city's blessing. Now, what is interesting about this design to me is, yes, it's only a two cast that costs 1-1, one, one, so they're going to block it the first time you swing. But um, if you have five mana out and her, um, you swing with her, you'll spend five mana, get four tokens. Now, you got her plus four tokens plus five lands. That's nine. Um, that's 10 permits. Now you've got the city's blessing. Now at the beginning of the next end step, X all those tokens unless you have the city's blessing. Provide all those tokens survive, you'll keep them. So pretty interesting design on that one. I don't know if they purposely meant it to be that interesting, but it makes me like the card. It makes me like the card. Who is telling all along? Who the fuck knows, man? Who pays attention to the storyline anymore? I don't pay attention to that shit. Here is Form of the Dinosaur. This welcome is an to the interesting sub club. Card. Johnny, welcome to the sub club. We appreciate you. Form of the Dinosaur. When Form of the Dinosaur enters the battlefield, your life total becomes 15. So you become a giant-ass dinosaur. At the beginning of your upkeep, Form of the Dinosaur deals 15 damage to target creature and opponent controls, and that creature deals damage equal to its power to you. What? So your life total becomes 15. Now you can die. From your 15 life, but you have effectively become a, a dinosaur. And every turn you attack a dude and that dude attacks you back. How fucking insane is that? That card is fucking insane. That's a weird Welcome card. Welcome to the sub club. What a weird card. Don't know what to make of that card. Two more packs here. 214 killer 143. Welcome to the sub club. Please don't kill me or anybody else. Thank you. Please don't be a killer. Don't kill those two 114s. 
Here is... Oh, a second copy of the Elder Dragon. Elder Dinosaur. Six cast cost 6-6. Six, six, death Touch. And he hunts the cards that come into play when it comes into play. Uh, somebody in chat asked if we have more packs. Yeah, Flint, we got more packs. We're going to do another box. We'll do a speed box next. We'll do a speed round. Here is our rare. Deep Root Elite. Two cast to cost 1-1. One, one. Whenever another Merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target Merfolk you control. I played against a guy who had two copies of this. Two copies of this at the pre-release. He ruined me. He's fucking merfolked it up, man. He's merfolked. He's mer, he, mer, he mermaided my mistletoe, boy. He mermaided my mistletoe bad. So I don't think there's any valuable uncommons out of this set. I don't think there's any uncommons worth playing with. And I'm pretty sure there's no valuable commons. So we'll take a look towards the end to see if there's any cards of value. But I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Oh, there's a foil I missed. Whoa, how did I miss that? I missed a foil blood sun. Wow, I missed a foil blood sun. I, that was in the uncommons. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's one of the better cards out of the set. Wow. Holy shit. It was I, was. I guess I missed it because of the flip cards. Wow. Holy shit. That was in my uncommon stack. Well, this is why we check. Damn, that's nice. Well, I'm going to flip through here and make sure I didn't screw up any other way. That's insane. Maybe I missed another rare or another foil. Uncommon, 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 uncommon. Oh, that's a token card. Uncommon, 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 Token. Uncommon and common 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 Let's do at least one more box for Daddy Boy. Oh, Daddy Boy. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. The pipes, the hey, pipes hey, hey, Boogie. Are, are you into fighting games? And are you going to try Dragon Ball Fighter Z? Hope you feel better soon. No, I'm not fi into fighting gays. I think gays should be left alone. Let them oh, games? Okay. No, yeah, fighting games, they're all right. I don't know. I'm not a big Dragon Ball fan, so not much appeals to me there, but maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll give it a shot. But yeah, don't fight gays. Let them live. Let them live. Let them be themselves. Let them do whatever they want to do. It's okay to be gay, guys. Every once in a while in my lifetime, I go to Chick-fil-A. And when I do, on my way by, I say, it's okay to be gay. I say, it's okay to be gay. I tell them, it's okay to be gay, everybody. They don't believe it's okay to be gay over there, but I don't care what they think. All right, here we go. We're going quick. There's our rare. Yvona's Hunger. Three mana. Uh, each opponent sacrifices a creature if you have the City's Blessing, which means ten permanents or more. Uh, you have, if you have City's Blessing, instead, each opponent sacrifices half the creature so your shit controls rounds up. So, interesting late game card. It's a three mana, but it's instant speed. That's what's good about it. If it wasn't instant speed, I would have no interest in it. But it does have instant speed, so I am interested in it. There we go. There's that uh, emblem again. Wow. That's weird. Land. Foil card. Sailor of Means. Three cast goes one four. When there's a battlefield, create a treasure token. Nah. Our rare is Awakened Amalgam. This card is weird. So Awakened Amalgam's power and toughness are each equal to the number of differently named lands you control. Provided you played him off four different named lands, he's a four four for four. Play another land, he's a 5-5. Five, five. But they have to have different names, so you can't be all forests. But you have Forest Island, Swamp, Mountain, Vampire, kid, Kitchen McCrew. But then you, you take Welcome a dual land. Welcome to the So, interesting card. Interesting card. Resipert. Welcome to the Glib Clib. We're glad to glib you. We're glad to glib you. I'll look into that game, man. Thanks for the recommendation, Enraged Sage. And thanks for your five bucks. Arterial Flow. I thought this card was going to be good, and now it's not. Each opponent discards two cards. If you control a vampire, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two cards. Or you gain two life. 
So, I mean, if you got Vampire Tribal going on in your cube, you can run this. And I do have Vampire Tribal going on my cube, so maybe I'll add that. That's interesting. That's interesting. We're going to play with some vampires. It's pretty interesting. Oh, Mythic! Here's our first Planeswalker. This is Angrath the Flame Chained. And let me just be honest. They've nerfed the current Planeswalkers to where they're not that exciting anymore. But let's see what this one does. Five mana for four loyalty. Plus one, each opponent discards a card and loses two life. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, minus Gotta three. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Control all. target creature till in a turn. Hi, Betty. Good to see you hey, again. Hey, CDC fan. Thanks How was your week? Anyways, have fun opening Dose Magic cards. More Pokemon cards when? Anyways, have week. a good night. Probably next week, ACDC fan. Appreciate you. Got a lot of magic to open before we get back to Pokemon. Uh, but, uh, minus three. Thank you, by the way, for your support, man. Thanks for the three bucks, ACDC fan. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it. Against haste until end of turn. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. At best, convert a minor cost of three or less. So, if this had just been... Gain control of it. Sacrifice it for five mana. That would have been good. Uh, it's got to be a small guy. Mm, that, before you sacrifice it. Mm. Minus eight. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of cards in his or her graveyard. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of cards in his or her graveyard. So, eh. That'll kill a guy. No, that, not too exciting. Not too exciting. Five mana for a worse Liliana. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do like the game control aspect. That's kind of cool. I do like that part. Here's our rare. Siegehorn Ceratops. Two cast costs two, two. When this is dealt damage, put two plus one plus one counters on it. So it's basically Fungasaur. It gets bigger every time you damage it. So if you block a 1-1 one, one with it or it gets blocked by a 1-1, one, one, it gets big and then it just keeps getting bigger from there. Until it gets to Boner Town. Welcome to Boner Town. Welcome to Boner Town. It's me. Population me. We haven't even seen all the rares yet, so that's nice. Another emblem. Jesus Christ. An emblem for a planeswalker we still haven't even seen yet. Here is Temple uh, al -Sassar. Five mana, three, four. Ugh. If a source would deal damage to another dinosaur you control, prevent all but one of that damage. So if this counted for itself, it'd be amazing. Otherwise, it's just like a shitty dinosaur tribal card. I don't care for it. I don't care about it. I don't care about it. You have two copies of it out, though. You're killing it. Amaze Boogie can pronounce most magic cards of these, but Butcher is most Pokemon name. Well, these are just usual English words. There's nothing weird about the phrase Storm of the Vault, but Pokemon words are like Welcome to the Scraggle Bench Cooperman. I don't know what the fuck that means. Whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, create a colorless treasure token. At the beginning of your step, you control five or more artifacts. Transform this. That's pretty easy to do. Five or more artifacts, especially if you're making tokens. On the other side, tap to add one mana of any color or tap to add blue to your mana pool for each artifact you control. Wow. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. At the beginning of your end step, flip. Wow. So this is basically a five cast and cost Clarion Academy. Because, I mean, with artifact lands and other shit. Wow. Okay, that's a good one. I bet that one's got to be worth a couple bucks. I bet that one's got to be worth a buck or two. That one's probably worth a buck or two. Huh. Can you attack with, with your own 1-1? One, one? Um, I'm not sure exactly what that question means, Mac Place. But yes, you can attack with 1-1s one, all day. Here we go. All right, this card's going for like a few bucks. I don't know why yet. Four cast, it costs four or three flyer. All right, it's a phoenix. Looks like an owl. When this dies, create an 0-1 red elemental creature token with. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice this creature. Return target card named Rekindling Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield. Welcome to the subclub. Wow, okay. So it dies, it turns into an egg. That seems like that would tear up standard. That might even be cube worthy. I guess we'll have to find out and wait and see. Chet Pancake, welcome to the sub club. Young Hugs, thanks for two months of support. Bootleg, welcome to the sub club. Here is Admiral's Order, Instant Speed, Raid. If you attack with a creature this turn, you may pay blue rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Counter target spell. So if you attack this turn, and then they 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 play something in your combat step, you can counter it for blue. Eh. 
I mean, I guess that probably fits in the pirate deck. If you're going to build the pirate deck, may as well play that. Here's our rare. Tender shot, tender shoot dryad. Got to get paid to get laid, y'all. Okay, that's terrible. After 20 plus years, why did we need dinosaurs? We've done fine without them. Personally, I'd be much happier if they brought back thralls or slivers. P.S. Someone in chat said that blood foil is $16 bucks. Oh, nice, man. That's pretty fucking badass. Um, yeah, 3D Loki, we've actually had dinosaurs since Ice Age. They finally decided to make a dinosaur set. But actually, the first dinosaur was in Ice Age. Tender Shoot Dryad. Five cast costs 2-2 two, two, with a send. At the beginning of each upkeep... At the each upkeep, okay. Create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. Okay. Uh, saplings you control get plus 2, plus 2 as long as you have the city's blessing. Wow. Okay. So, let's imagine you have 5 mana. This will be a 6 permanent. During the next upkeep, you make 7. During your upkeep, you'll make 8. If you have literally anything else out, you're probably swinging with 3-3 three, three saplings. If it's a uh, multiplayer... You're going to definitely make a lot more saplings, though. Huh. Interesting card. How much do I pay for boxes? 89 bucks. 89 bucks a box. There is Kuma's Kumun is Awakening. Again, terrible card. Don't even want to read it to you. It's so bad. Not even worth it. Not even worth it. A rare... Dead Man's Chest. Enchant creature and opponent controls for a black and one. When enchanted creature dies, exile cards equal to the, its power from the top of its owner's library. You may cast non-land cards from among them. For as long as they remain exiled, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast those spells. So that's a pretty fucking rough way to get some free shit. But that seems doable. Hey, I put this on your dude's guy. Now I block your guy. And now, eh, I don't know. I mean, it's a cool card. It, it's the kind of card that would make me want to play with it. It's the kind of card that would make me want to play with it, but it's not worth playing with. Not worth playing with. Doop, doop, doop. Here's our foil. Traveler's Amulet. One mana, sack this, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Basic land card. Why? Ugh. Radiant Destiny, three mana, Ascend. As this enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. As long as you have the City's Blessing, they also get Vigilance. So it's a three mana uh, kind of tribal spell, kind of cool. Um, but they also get, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. You'd probably put that in your dinosaur deck, maybe. Or some sort of token deck. Some sort of token deck, probably. There is Path of Discovery, four mana. When a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it explores. Nope, no one's ever going to play with that card, ever. Not even fucking limited, that's not even good for limited. Ugh. When a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it explores. Now, had it been when a creature attacks, it explores, then I would have been into it. When a creature it, it attack, it explores. Oh, is it two explores? It explores. Nope, just once. Had it been when they attack, I would have been into it. There is Brass's Bounty. Seven mana, one of which has to be red. For each land you control, create a Colors Treasure Artifact token. So you have seven lands out, you get seven tokens. Next turn, you got 14 mana. Meh! Nope. Wrong. Bad card is bad. Who is Brass? Fuck if I know, man. Probably some pirate. Probably some pirate. There is. Release to the wind. Yep, exile, target permanent, and then you can play it without paying its casting cost. Interesting. Interesting. Admiral Beckett Brass. Yeah, it sounds like a pirate for sure. Oh, there's a nice foil. Destroy target creature, impale four mana, sorcery speed. That card's bad, though. Never mind. There's our rare. Two cast goes 2 2 flash, death touch. So it's effectively removal. When this enters the battlefield, target attacking pirate you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains death touch till end of turn. Huh. 
That's a pretty interesting. That's a pretty interesting card. That's pretty interesting. That feels like that feels like that could do something valuable. I think you underestimate sports a good effect. Yeah, I probably do. You're probably right. Here is Golden Guardian. When this so to four forecast goes four four defender. Not great. Two mana, Golden Guardian fights another target creature you control. When Golden Guardian dies this turn, return it to the battlefield, transform it into your control. So you're going to have to spend two mana when it dies, even if it dies to your opponent's shit. And it's, you're going to have to have a creature for it to target to fight, so it's going to fight something. Ideally, you fight something bigger than it. But it can tap that two mana of any color, one color to your mana pool. And for four mana, you can create a 4-4 four, four golem. I don't know. That's a lot of hoops to jump through. I don't know if it's ever worth it, but... You might get there. That, you might get there on that. I don't know. You might get there. Yet another flip card. Here we have Journey to Eternity again. Boring. Uh, making sure there's no extra foils in here this time. Don't I accidentally miss a foil. So many hoops to jump through. Yep. There's another rare we haven't seen. Silent Gravestone. One mana artifact. Cards and graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. That's interesting. Four mana. Tap. Exile this and all cards from all graveyards. And then you draw a card. Uh, so some sideboard hate. For some card I'm not aware of in standard probably. There he is once again, Seafloor Oracle. Hi hey everybody, it's me. I'm the Oracle. I live on the floor of the sea. I don't bother. I don't bother. I don't bother leaving the seafloor. <laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Seafloor Oracle. I don't care. I live down here. You guys can live up there if you want to. I don't want to. But if you merfolk attack. Let me know. I'll let this planeswalker draw a card, okay? But I'm not going to tell him to be down here. Okay. Mastermind's acquisition again. I'm going to be down here on the seafloor, okay? I don't fuck around when I'm at sea, sea surface. I only fuck around here on the seafloor. Okay? With Roud. Thanks for 16 months of support. Appreciate you. Homecoming Gamer. Thanks for the 20 bits. I appreciate you. Here is Zeptala Primal Down. So this is a shitty card. Six, seven, eight casting cost, four, eight. But it does have flying, double strike, Gotta vigilance, get paid trample, to get laid, y'all. No way to protect hey, yourself. Need I love your YouTube or, channel or and everything you do and have done. You are Thank an inspiration you, to me as I've watched you lose a lot of weight. Thank you, Nitro. It has inspired me to eat better good myself. Good job, Nitro. Keep Been up the good work. for years. Love the rambling series as well. Love you less than three. Love you too, Nitro. Thanks for the love, man. Thanks for the kind words. I really appreciate it. Zetalpa Primal Dawn. Hey, everybody. It's me, Zetalpa. I'm an Elder Dagron. I don't have any sort of hex proof or anything, so I'm human garbage. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy not having hex proof. I will. There is Blood Sun once again. I mean, it's the opposite of Blood Moon, kind of. What if, okay, what if they made a card instead of Blood Moon, instead of wasting Blood Sun, which is a cool name on this, what if it did, Blood Sun was one white and two, and it made all lands planes instead? How much cooler would that have been? How much cooler would that have been? Oh, here's a legendary. All right, I know some of you kids are going to go crazy for this. This is not my kind of card, but if it's your kind of card, enjoy. Six and red and green and white. For a 9-9. Nine, nine. So 9 mana, 3 different colors for 9-9. Nine, nine. I'll never play this card. Elder Dinosaur. Giant little fucker. Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. He has Reach because he's so fucking tall. When he enters the battlefield, if you ca cast it, untap all lands you control. So he's effectively free. 3 mana. So common deals 3 damage to target creature. 2 in green. Uh, destroy target artifact or enchantment. 2 in white. You gain 3 life. You don't play EDH? No. And if I did, I would not play with this commander. Too expensive. Too expensive of a commander for me. But if that's your thing, enjoy. Not my kind of thing, though. Love the artwork on that guy. Yeah, me too. 
He's a pretty good dinosaur. Uh, I know this is going to be I know this is going to be controversial when I say it, but dinosaurs are just dragons without wings. Fuck you. Hashtag dinosaurs are dragons without wings. Hashtag fuck you. Come at me. Come at me, bitch. Yeah, somebody points out his arms are super short. His arms are super short, yet he has reach. Explain that. Fuck you, physics. Ah, oh, foil swamp. Always oh, cool. There's a rare Arch of Orzaka. Orzka. Uh, also known as Junk for My Trade Folder. Bad card. Bad card is bad. Pterodactyls have wings. Uh, that's true. Pterodactyls are dragons. Prove me wrong. Pterodactyls are dragons. Here's a card we haven't seen yet. Far Cassegoss 3 3 World Shaper. When it attacks, you may put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. When World Shaper dies, put all land cards from your graveyard onto the battlefield. So that's pretty interesting. Fill your graveyard full of lands, play them for free. Pretty interesting, maybe in like some sort of dredge concoction. The problem is with a dredge concoction, you're just going to have better cards. Dragons are just dinosaurs with wings. True. I agree. I agree entirely. There he is once again. Nezahal Primal Tide. Oh, such a bad card. Ma, 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 ma. He's all right. I'm sure somebody out there is excited about the card. It's not my kind of card. Too expensive for what he does. What are your top three tips for look, someone looking to play Magic? Download Magic Duels and play that game for free for a while. Uh, go to your local gaming store and support your local gaming store so they can support you. And um, pee pee poo poo, where are the poo poo sticks? Is? Pick a budget, pick a friend, pick a few friends, pick a budget. Spend only as much as you guys want to in your little friend circle and spend that much money. And don't spend a dime more. All right, I got two rares out of this pack. I'm glad I checked. First off, Champion of Dusk is a foil. Five Cascos 4-4 four, four, when it enters the battlefield, you draw X cards. You lose X life or X is the number of vampires you control. So, I mean, it's a five Cascos 4-4 four, four that draws your card when it comes to play, you lose life. If you have more vampires, you draw more cards. So, interesting. Here is Azor's Gateway. Legendary artifact, two mana. Spin one, tap to draw a card, then exile a card from your hand. If cards with five or more different converted mana costs are exiled with this, you may gain five life. Untap this and transform it. So untap a land, uh, you know, discard a land, exile a land, exile some one, two, three, and four. And then on the back side, tap to add X mana of any one color to your mana pool where X is your life total. So completely fucking insane if you make this work. It's going to take five turns to make it work, including the turn it comes into play. But if you get it off, you're going, you're going nuts. If you make that work, you're going fucking insane. I mean, I don't know what to think about that card. Again, a lot of work to make that happen, but if you make it work, you're going to be mana boy. You're going to be daddy's little mana bitch. Hi, I'm daddy's little mana bitch. Here is Silverclad Ferocidions. Again, terrible. Don't like them. Too expensive for too small of a butthole. Had that been a 5-8, I would have been more interested. I'd rather it have been a 5-8, because it can only take five damage is the problem. You know, so hard to really... Work with that one. But. All right, big money, big money. Come on, we need the other planeswalker. If we can get the other myth, mythic planeswalker out of here, planeswalker. Nope. Tomb robber. Terrible card. Don't even want to read it to you. Such a bad card. Oh, you need to get your shit together, tomb robber. You just knocked over the whole pile. Stop robbing my tomb, you summon a bitch. You summon a bitch. Here we go. Reckless Rage. This card's weird. Deal four damage to target creature you don't control and two damage to target creature you do control. Now, this is the kind of card that I'm cool with them printing in limited environments because four damage to something you don't control is pretty cool and two damage to something you do control is okay. So you, a lot of times you're going to be able to make that work, right? But if you do it with a dinosaur that has ra in rage, then you're triggering a rage. This is cool design. With more design like this, Wizards of the Ghost. This is interesting. This is interesting. 
Here's our rare. Champion of Dusk again. Non-foiled. Okay. More design like that, please, Watsy. You too, Freak. Thanks for 10 months of support. OG Dewar, thanks for 7 months of support. Appreciate you, man. Homecoming Gamer, thanks again for your bits. There is Form of the Dinosaur again. Such cool art. I'm becoming a dinosaur! That's what he's saying there. I'm becoming a dinosaur! <laughs> I'm a damn goddamn dinosaur! Okay. Here is Captain's Hook. Oh, hey there, Captain Hook. I am here to take a look. Something I think it reminds me of Arrested, the song in Arrested Development when he plays the Captain Hook's lawyer. My mom just woke up. To, Hi, that guy's mom. I'm sorry, I woke you up. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Don't check your son's drawer for weed. He keeps it in the underwear drawer in a little red shoe box. He's got a bong in the closet and a flashlight under the bed. Please don't check all his stuff. If you do, you'll find it. Raptor Companion, 2 Cascals 31. Wasn't this out of the last set? Is this out of the set? I thought this was out of the last set. What? How do they get a foil from... What? They get a foil from the last set? No, I guess that's from the set. I thought that was from the last set. Is this pack from the last... What? What? Yes, they reprinted four cards. Really? What? They've no That's insane. Really? What? Why? 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 That's weird. Galta Primal Hunger. That's weird. Why would they do that? Why? Why would they reprint? I guess. I mean, I guess Legionnaire Conquistador makes sense because you need more copies of it to keep draft smooth. Okay. That's weird. That is a weird thing to do. Last pack from the box. Here we go. And we got a flip card. And we got a flip card. And it is Hadonis Climb. Now climb on up there to the top of that pyramid and see what you get. I bet you're going to get a whole bunch of mana. He did. That's how the story ends. Good job, everybody. We got us a whole bunch of mana today. Hot damn. Hot damn. So much mana. I'm so excited for all this mana. Hot damn. Hot damn. Living in the city. Doing my night. Getting dirty and gritty. Alright, let's see here. Let's let's see. put our uncommons here. Let's put these uncommons also here. Hot damn, dirty little kitty. You gotta get my gonna get in shitty. Hot damn, I'm gonna lick my kitty. Give me twenty bucks, then I'll play with your kitty. All right, here we go. Oh man, I shoveled in too many tokens. God damn it! Now there's not going to be enough room for all the cards. I shoveled in too many tokens into the commons, y'all. Too many commons in the commons and tokens in the commons, y'all. God damn it! Too many tokens in the commons, y'all. All right, let's see what we can just put up. Woo! Man, I got a bad fever tonight. Holy shit. I don't know if you guys can even tell that I don't feel well. Because I'm trying to act all normal. That's why I'm not being extra weird tonight. Because I got that fever going. Daddy's got a fever going. Daddy's got a fever going bad. Daddy's got a real bad fever going, y'all. Daddy's got a real bad fever going. I got an infection in the lymphedema. Yeah, I may have lost 140 pounds, but it doesn't keep me from getting sick from time to time. Apparently that lymphedema still wants me dead. Hey, that lymphedema still wants me dead. Oh, well. Oh, well. Fuck you, lymphedema. I refuse to die. You can't make me die, you summon a bitch. You can't make me die, you summon a bitch. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna learn how to fly. Fame. 
I'm gonna play with your butthole. I'll play with it till you die. Fame. I'm gonna finger a butthole. Finger it till it is dry. Fame. I'm gonna finger that butthole. One more box. We're going super quick on this box. We're going to super quick on this box. You guys ready? We're going to super quick. Here we go. Hi, Sammy. We're not ready yet, okay? Not just yet, okay, baby? I'm sorry. You want to come up here for a sec? Come here. Come up. Up, up, up. Yeah. Come up here so everybody can see you. Everybody wants to see you. Hi. Look right here. Look right here. You see him? Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, best friend. Hi, best friend. Are you enjoying my snot? You enjoying my snot? Are you enjoying your nap? In a little while, I'll get you some treats and take you outside, okay? But not yet, okay? But in a little while, okay? We're going to open one more box, okay? We're going to open one more box, baby, okay? And then we will get you some treats, and we'll go outside, and we'll go lay down, okay? I know you're worried about me. I'm fine, though. I'm fine. I'm going to be healthy. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Good boy. Good boy. All right, well, I guess I can't open any more boxes. Okay. All right, here, go down here. Go down here for now, okay? Lay right, lay down. Lay down. We're going to go through one more box, okay? All right, let's do it Gotta quick. Got to get paid to get laid, y'all. Go. God, I miss you. Oh, Darium, I miss you too, man. Thanks for the 55 Bonarinos. Darium, thank you for the 55 Bonarinos. We're going quick tonight. Here we go. We're going to do this last box quick. Thank you, Darium. I miss you too, man. Hope you are well. There's a world shaper. Bad card. Bad card is bad card. Here we go. Going quick. Going quick. Looking for rares. This is a big rares. Big rares. Guys, give Darium some love and chat. We're always glad to see him. Darium, we love you, brother. We're going quick. There's a basic land. There is, once again, another mythic. Zakama Primal Kalamati. Z Garbage, though. No, not a card I care about. Nice mythic, but I would rather have a planeswalker. Here we go. Keep going. Faster. 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 Oh, daddy. Do it faster. There's a foil. Cleansing Ray, Destroy Target, Vampire, Destroy Target, Enchantment. That's interesting. And Wayward Swordtooth. I like that guy. I think he's playable. I think he's playable. Hey, everybody. It's me, Wayward Swordtooth. I got some tore teeth. My teeth are sore. I, I can't bite anything right now because my teeth are sore. But if you get the city's blessing, let me know. And then I'll bite things. Captain's Hook. You're a crook, Captain Hook. And I ought to throw the book at your face. Cause you're dumb, and you can't all on my cum, and I'll kill you with my face, and I'll kill you all over the place, and I'll kill you till you're dead, and you're fucking you in the head, and da 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 There is Dire Fleet Daredevil. First strike, 2-1. When it, uh, I mean, it's the opposite of a Snapcaster. He's pretty cool. How did I get these cards? Purchase them from my local gaming store for cash money. You can buy them from your local gaming store for cash money. That's what I do. Go to your local gaming store and order them for cash money. There's a foil, moment of craving. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until on a turn, and you gain two life. That's interesting. There is Dire Fleet Poisoner. We went over this card earlier. It's pretty cool. We went over that card earlier. It's pretty damn cool. If she only had flash, yeah, but then she could get then she could get um uh counter spells. That would be too good. That'd be too good. Two 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 rares out of this back. Foil crafty cut purse, which means we'll be blank. And Storm the Vault, which is Talarian Academy. Holy shit. That card is effectively Talarian Academy, man. Jesus Christ, what a good card. Jesus Christ, what a good card. Mr. Hook, you're a crook, and we ought to throw the book. Siegehorn Ceratops. Meh. Siegehorn Ceratops. And it takes damage, give it counters. Um... When it's dealt damage, put two counters on it. And it's obviously got to survive the damage. Obviously got to survive the damage. Do, do, do. Da, da, do, da. There's a rare Admiral's Fleet. Meh. Meh. Come on, going quick. We're going quick tonight. There's another foil. 
Shake the Foundations. Deals one damage to each creature without flying. Draw a card. I, that costs one red. I would have liked it, but... Uh, there's Slaughter the Strong. We haven't seen this yet. Three mana. Each player chooses any number of creatures he or she controls with total power, four or less, then sacrifices all other creatures he or she controls. So you're going to keep... Each player chooses any number of creatures he or she controls with power, total power, four or less. So you can only keep the little guys. Oh, that's interesting. So keep all your little guys, kill the rest. Huh. Or you can keep like one, four, four, I guess. That's interesting. I mean, it's no Wrath of God. That's interesting. It's no Wrath of God. But if you're playing with like a very powerful four, four, you get to keep it. That's kind of cool. And they'll get to keep their thing too, but... A rare... Kumana's Blessing, which is pretty much Kumana's Garbage. Kumana's Garbage. These cards feel a little warped, so let's take a look. Are these bent? Wow! Hey, Wizards of the Coast. Hey, Wizards of the Coast, here's an interesting idea. Hey, Wizards of the Coast, here's an interesting idea. Why don't you print some cards that aren't fucking bent to shit? How is it the card value, the value... The, 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 there better be a foil in here. That's all I can tell you. How is it the card stock went down at the same time? Nope. Path of Discovery. Ugh. You know, I mean, here's the thing. I guess if you're printing unplayable cards, you may as well put them on. If you're playing unplay printing unplayable cards, you may as well print them on unpl uh, unkeepable paper. There we go. Look at that, man. Look at that. That's not good. That is not good. Here's our rare, though. Seven mana. Get a bunch of tokens. Meow. Meow. Token. Wow. Really? Hold on. Wow. Hold on. That's not bad. Slight bend there. Slight bend there on that one. Not too bad. Uh, our rare is Deep Root Elite. Powering up your mermans. Hey, it's me, Daddy. I'm going to power up your mermans. Boogie, do you think large YouTubers with over a million subs should still need a Patreon? They might. I mean, why not? If you got something to do with the money and people are willing to give you money, why wouldn't you take the money? That's like saying, hey, does Bill Gates still need to sell Windows? Sure. Why wouldn't he? I mean, he could probably afford to give it away, but why? If people are willing to pay for your product, why wouldn't you? That makes perfect sense to me. Twilight Prophet. Forecast costs 2 for flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have the City's Blessing, reveal the top card of your library, put it in your hand, each opponent uh, loses X life, and you gain X life, or X is that card's going to run at that cost. Each opponent, wow, they lose the life and you gain the life. Well, that's an interesting. That's interesting. Take my shirt off. I can't, Darium. I'll get banned. I'll get banned. I don't want to take my shirt off, Darium. There's a foil. Sanguine Glory Fire. Forecast cost 3 3. Terrible card. A rare is, once again, Champion of Dusk. We got a full set of Champion of the Dusks, including a foil one. You know. Uh, going quick. Here's our rare. Templar Altasar. Altasar. Terrible fucking card. Bad card. Fucking bad card, man. Ugh. Here's a flip card. Golem Guardian. Golden Guardian. Meh. Meh. Not good. Next. Dupe. Dupe. Our rare here is Proteon Raider. So it's a red blue clone, which is just weird. There's enough blue clones and enough black blue clones. Why does there have to be a red clone? I don't really. Okay. I guess. He's alright. He's a raid clone. Oh, here's a mythic we haven't pulled yet Elinda the Dusk Rose. So my friend is thinking about testing this in his cube. So she's a lifelink 1 1, but when another creature dies, you put a counter on her. Then when she dies, create X-1-1 one, one white vampire creature tokens with lifelink where X is her power. So, 
I don't know. I feel like she's pretty much a commander card. I don't know if you can cube her or not. Because not enough creatures are going to die to really make her big. But you are going to get a bunch of little vampires when, when she dies. So that's cool. If you have other ways to make her big, that's cool. You know, if you have a way to make her big and then sacrifice her. I don't know. She's interesting. I like her. That's another mythic. I think we only need one more mythic. I think we only need one more mythic. I think we only need one more mythic to be done. There is a crafty cut purse. Terrible. It'd be nice if we got all of the mythics and I could build, uh, have all the cube cards I need without having to open the rest of the boxes. Then I could keep the boxes for a while. There's a foil. Fanatical firebrand. One red for a 1-1 one, one haste. Sacrifice it. It deals one damage to target creature or player. It's a goblin pirate, but clearly it's a monkey. Doesn't look like a goblin. It looks like a monkey. A rare is... Once again, the Zahal Primal Tide. Did we get the Green Elder Dragon? Did we get the Green Elder Dragon? Didn't we get a Green Elder Dragon? I hope there's another Planeswalker in here. Somebody says there's not. Another foil. Curious Obsession. This card's pretty good. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one, and has whenever this deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. At the beginning of your instant, if you didn't attack the creature this turn, sacrifice this. So, I mean, it's Curiosity basically with a plus one plus one built into it it's got a bit of a drawback but i like that card a rare radiant destiny once again that card's okay vampire lady seems like a win harder card yep she's kind of a build around me card though you know i want to win extra hard today here is once again path of metal Oh, I need the path of the metal. Heavy metal. Add one metal. Da -da 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 -da. A very one color to your metal pool. Attack red, red and one. Do two damage to each of your opponents. One, two, white, two, red. Create a uh, choose a creature random and attack this turn. Destroy that creature. <laughs> Very metal. Path of metal. That's not how you spell metal. There is a Dire Fleet Poisoner once again. I'm gonna poison you. I'm part of the Dire Fleet. Hi, everybody. It's me. I'm part of the Dire Fleet. I'm part of the Dire Fleet, everybody. And I'm, I'm here to help you. You're thirsty? Are you thirsty? If so, I'll give you a little something to drink. Awakened Amalgam. Bad card is bad. Bad card is bad. Bad card is bad. Here's a foil swamp. Meh. Here is Sphinx's Decree. The Bad Orms Chant. Don't even draw a card off of it. Come on, man. Why is that card? Why is that card? Come on, man. Here's a flip card. Hadani's climb. Hey, climb these balls, Hadani. Hey, Hadani, why don't you climb these balls? You ain't a good card. Next. Dead man's chest. I prefer a dead woman's chest because then at least it's got titties on it. I'm dying alone. Here is Silent Gravestone. Cards and graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. Four mana. X all this. Draw a card. Next up. There's our rare. Once again, Tender Shoot Dryad. There is at least one good uncommon in the set, and it's this guy. Two cast costs two, one vampire. But if you have the City's Blessing, it has flying for one white. That guy's pretty good. That guy is pretty good. He does. He does. You guys want to hear a sexist joke? Do you guys want to hear a really sexist joke? Do you guys want to hear a really sexist joke? It's going to get me in a lot of trouble.
Do you want to know the best way to break up with a girl? Like, make sure she never talks to you again. This is the best way to break up with a girl. It's the meanest thing you can say to a woman. Do you know what the meanest thing you can say to a woman is? There's the red elder dragon. Nice. Nice. The meanest thing you can say to a woman, guarantee she'll never talk to you again, is... You know, for a fat girl, you sure do have small tits. That's the meanest thing you can say to a woman. She will instantly, instantly never talk to you again. I mean, you're probably going to get stabbed. You're probably going to get stabbed, but it'll work. There's Zetapal Zetalpa. There's Zetalpa. A friend of mine told me that recently. Someone told me that one recently. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. Because we're talking about chests. There's another flip card. Oh, and there's a foil in here too. A foil rare. Wow. There's Profane Procession. The one that flips over into uh, play a dude for four mana. And here is a foil Deep Root Elite. Well, if I was playing Merfolk, I'd be a happy boy right now. Daddy would be a happy boy if he was playing Merfolk. I'm not. Oh, shit. All my comments fell. Oh, no. My comments fell. Look at the mess I made. Look at the mess I made. Let's open one more pack. It's a massively overpowered and limited. Yep. Massively overpowered and limited and shitty and, uh, and rare and uh, constructed. And then our final rare, Vona's Hunger. Oh, I'm sorry. You're hungry, Vona. Can I get you a sandwich or something? Vona, you want a sandwich or something? If you're hungry, Vona, let me hook you up, okay? I'll call Jimmy John's. They deliver. Jimmy John's to deliver to the house. We can go to, we can go to Subway if you want. If you prefer Subway, Yona, we can get that. But they also get you a sandwich. Jimmy John's delivers to here. Jimmy John's delivers to here, so if you want me to, I'll get you Jimmy John's, Yona. You don't got to be hungry, honey. You don't got to be hungry, Yona. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you, Yona, okay? Give me a phone call, Yona. I'll give you... I'll just give me a couple minutes, I'll order your pizza. What kind of pizza you want? You want to get something local or you want to get chain, Yona? It's up to you, Yona. I'll get whichever ones you want, okay? Yona, tell me which ones you want. You want, you want Papa John's or... We can get Pizza Hut if you want. I don't mind Pizza Hut. Domino's, I won't do Domino's on Yona. Well, your quality ain't so good. I recommend we get local, Yona. You want to get something local? I hear that uh, dinosaur pizza establishment's pretty good if you want to get them. Come on, Yona. Let's get something to eat. You're not yourself when you're hungry. Come on, Yona. I don't want you being such a bitch to me. Let's get you something to eat. Uh, what you you want to eat all the other creatures? Is that it? You gonna eat another creature? Come on, Yona, that's rude. Why are you eating all them creatures? Come on, Yona, that's just not a cool thing to do. That's awful upsetting to me, Welcome Yona. Welcome to the sub club. That's awful upsetting to me, Yona. You had to eat all up all the other creatures. That's rude. That's rude to do, Yona. You apologize right now. You apologize right now, Yona. You've been awful mean. Sadie, welcome to the sub club. Valkyrie, thanks for four months of support. John Drow, thanks for three months of support. Um Freak, thanks for eight months of support. Almost a full term. I can't wait to birth this sub baby. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way, and I hope I never get it heard that way, put that way again, because... That is gross. I love it. Let me know when you give birth. Let me know if it's a happy baby boy or a little baby girl. Either way, we're going to eat it. Either way, we're going to eat that baby. God, what a mess I made in here. What a fucking mess I made in here. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Holy calm shit. Oh my god. Okay. Alright guys, well if you guys don't know this, I'm fighting off an infection. I've been assigned to bed rest, so I'm going to go get some of that bed rest right now. Let's find somebody to boogie bomb tonight. Sammy now knows the phrase boogie bomb, 
And that means we're about to leave when he hears it. Let's find somebody to boogie bomb. Let's find somebody playing magic. If there's somebody opening packs tonight. If not, if there's nobody opening packs, then we'll, we'll go somewhere else. Is someone opening packs tonight? No one is opening packs tonight. Oh, that's a real shame. Okay, so let's try NRL, IRL. Let's try IRL. Let's try Twitch in real life. Sorry that I don't feel so good. I wish I could be here longer. I've been assigned to bed rest. No video tomorrow. Just me sleeping it off all weekend till I feel better. You guys want a pretty girl or a funny guy tonight? You guys want a pretty girl? You guys want a pretty girl or a funny guy tonight? What do you guys want? Oh, here, I'm going to choose for you. Here's two pretty girls. There's two pretty girls hanging out. Here we go, Shout G. Shouty G. Oh, they're on PlayStation, though. I don't like, because they, they can't yeah, read. Yeah, they hear you. They Bye, can't Ethan. read chat as well if they're on Nobody PlayStation. Nobody wants to hear. <laughs> no one. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna boogie bomb. All right. We're gonna boogie bomb right. a friend oh. of the stream tonight. We haven't done this in a while. I'm gonna send you guys over to Back Zombie time. Unicorn. I'm gonna move the mic away. I'm gonna send you over to Zombie Unicorn. We haven't done her in a while. Cause I don't want to make gross mouth noises. We haven't mic. done her in a while. Here you go. Thanks, Here you kid. go. We're about to play some more games. She's eating a snack right now. Oh shit! Incoming, incoming friendly raid. Thanks, Boogie. Yeah. So sweet. We love you, zombie unicorn. We just finished our Tide Pod look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Boogie bomb, bitch. Give her some love. <laughs> she deserves all Thank your you love. Make her as happy as you guys have made me tonight. Boogie. We got uh, super nice. three awesome. more boxes to open. So we'll open them soon. Holy fuck oh, God. Okay. Uh, hopefully next week. Until then, guys, I'm going to go crawl into bed and be very sick. Guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again soon. Sammy, are you excited? Are you ready? Sammy, are you ready? Are you ready? You ready to get out of here? Are you ready? He's fucking ready. Bye, guys. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for the love. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll speak with you again soon. Provided I don't die from this fucking lymphedema. God damn it. I'm so tired of me. Bye!